Neurogress presents Sit Back and Relax, Let Your Thoughts Do All the Work. Conceived within the realms of science fiction and fantasy, we've always dreamed about the ability to control inanimate objects with the power of thought. Right now, it's an idea that seems firmly grounded in shows like X-Men or Carrie. Yet researchers are already developing devices that can do just that. These brand new brain-computer interface devices are quickly becoming reality in a lot of different industries, with the most popular applications in medicine, military technology, and gaming. These devices and the technology behind them are still relatively new, but surprisingly innovative, far more innovative than science fiction could ever have imagined. There are even proposed devices that could let us communicate telepathically. Most of these devices are a long way away from production, but the prospect is already generating debate. They can be invasive or non-invasive. These neural devices or brain-computer interface devices come in two forms. There are the invasive ones, where electrodes are implanted into the brain. The other form involves non-invasive procedures where electrodes are placed on the scalp. In both cases, the electrodes are meant to measure the electrical activity in the brain and communicate with various devices to produce various functions. In simplest terms, these devices will translate the user's thoughts into actions. In essence, the person's thoughts produce an action and desired result without physical action on the part of the user. Currently, neuro devices have been proven useful in various applications, including gaming and military applications. How neuro devices can help. Neuro devices are still very much in the research stage. But researchers have already experimented with certain applications that the devices can be useful for. One of them is in aiding spinal cord injury and stroke victims with communication. In most cases, these victims are unable to communicate with the outside world as a consequence of their condition. Electrodes can be implanted within the patient's brain to allow them to spell out messages using their thoughts. All they'd have to do is think what they want to say, and the thoughts are spelled out on a computer screen. The same applications can also be used to aid paralyzed individuals to become more functional. The idea is to allow the patient to use their thoughts to manipulate robots. They can tell the robot to move things around the house and fetch things for them. When connected to cameras, the patient and the robot will not even have to be in the same room. A more practical example of neuro devices at work is a device developed by a neurotech company designed to give drivers feedback if they start to fall asleep at the wheel. Many neuro games have also been developed. The player controls the game with their thoughts, and although many are still in development, it may take only a few years for all these to become as much a part of our daily lives as smartphones have become. Neurogress, a company that is researching heavily into neurocontrolled devices, is achieving encouraging results with how this technology will work in our everyday lives. It won't be long before we'll be able to sit back, relax, and do everything from cleaning our house to building houses with nothing more than closing our eyes and letting our thoughts do the work. What uses for these neurocontrol devices can you think of? What possibilities come to mind, literally, if you imagine them used on a daily basis? You were listening to a Neurogress production Invest in the interactive mind control devices of the future by buying tokens now. Visit neurogress.io.